Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Alex, aka Call Me B. This is my first ever YouTube video, so welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna be doing a tour of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, my hometown. Uh, if you guys like this video, smash the like button and uh, please subscribe to my channel, it helps me tremendously. And if you guys want to see future videos of your hometowns, let me know in the comments below. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so let's actually change the camera to uh, chase. Let's uh, put our throttle at full throttle and let's get this bird in the air so right now we're actually uh we took off from saint hubert so this is in the south shore of montreal this is where the um montreal uh canadians our hockey team uh practices so they practice in brassard which is in the south shore of montreal not on the island for those of you who don't know, Montreal is an island. Um, there's just under 2 million people that live on the uh, main island of Montreal. And um, everything off-island is considered like the suburbs of Montreal, basically. But yeah, the population of uh, the city itself, island of Montreal, is about just under 2 million. And the metro area, which we are flying over right now, is about... Uh, just over 4 million So let's keep heading towards Montreal Right here, we're gonna see the uh, st. Lawrence River So at the bottom of the island of Montreal we have the st. Lawrence River right here where I'm pointing my cursor and on the north side of Montreal we have Riviere de Prairie that's French for Prairie River. Also, um, I stream on twitch.tv. My username on twitch.tv is callmeb27. So be sure to catch my stream on uh, twitch.tv. I stream Sunday to Wednesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. So here we got downtown Montreal. This is the island of Montreal ahead of us. We got downtown with all kinds of buildings, but first what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take take a right over here and fly over um, the Montreal F1 circuit called Gilles Villeneuve uh, circuit. So this is the hairpin. It's actually a very uh, pretty famous um, uh, turn on the track. This is the uh, starting uh, grid over here. I don't know if we actually do see the, the starting grid. Let's zoom in a bit. We see the lines a bit. But anyways, yeah, this is the F1 track. It is a pretty um, legendary track in Formula One. So as you can see, it's just on an island south of the uh, city of Montreal. Okay, so um, next to uh, the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, oh yes, I didn't mention, uh, Gilles Villeneuve is the name of a Canadian race car driver, of course, from Montreal. He, um, he used to race in F1, I think in the 70s or 80s. And then his son, Jacques Villeneuve, also from Montreal, um, actually raced on the F1 circuit in the, uh, I think, the 90s and the uh, 2000s. So, um, yeah. Th this track is named after his father. So this is, uh, I believe this is Expo 67. This is where the World Fair was held in uh, 1967. This cool-looking uh, <laughs> uh, sphere over there. Okay, so here we're still flying over the South Shore. Here we got La Ronde, which is actually kind of kind of well rendered in the game. This is an amusement park. Six Flags. 
uh, owns it. Um, this is the Goliath. <laughs> this is funny uh, for anyone watching this video because I actually go here almost every year. Uh, this is called the Goliath. It's, uh, it used to be the tallest uh, roller coaster in Montreal. Uh, sorry, in Canada. When it was uh, constructed in um, maybe around like 10 years ago. Uh, now it's surpassed by a couple of rides in uh, Canada's Wonderland near uh, Toronto, Ontario. But anyways, yeah, that is our amusement park. Here we have the Jacques Cartier Bridge. I find it looks a lot like um, like Brooklyn uh, Bridge in New York City. Pretty similar. It's not 100% well rendered in the game. Um... This is Parc La Fontaine, definitely one of my favorite hangout spots in the city. So uh, here we got downtown Montreal. So um, there's actually a lot more buildings than this right now. Um, I guess the satellite imagery is taken a few years ago. Like there's a lot of new buildings that I have, like I do see in real life that are not here. Uh, there's there's literally maybe almost double the buildings but anyways um, yeah that is downtown Montreal right there and we are flying over Mount Royal so in real life um, this mountain overlooks the city and you could actually hike up here um, throughout the year and there are amazing views of the city you guys should google um, images but there are beautiful uh, views of the city so let's uh, let's turn around one more time and head back towards downtown oh yeah one more thing about Mount Royal the city of Montreal is named after Mount Royal yeah, okay, so here we are back downtown. This is Placeville Marie, one of the uh, uh, more well-known office buildings in the city. Um, and over here, we got the Bell Center, which is where the Montreal Canadiens, our legendary hockey team, plays. Here's the Bell Center. We actually see the name over here. Anybody watching, if you guys are hockey fans and haven't watched the game at the Bell Center in Montreal, do yourselves a favor and uh, go go watch um, a Montreal Canadiens game there. The atmosphere is absolutely incredible. Okay, so... Actually, on Mount Royal over here, we actually see St. Joseph's Oratory. Pretty famous church here in Montreal. I, th I think it's also one of the oldest churches in Canada. So here is old Montreal, the part of the city that looks very, very European. Um, if, uh, if you guys Google images of old Montreal, you're going to see it looks very 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 european uh like france a lot of people say it looks like lyon france okay here we got um all kinds of uh, boats i love hanging out here during uh formula one weekend all kinds of festivities do go on in the city during that time and now we're going to head towards the east of the city, 1976. Summer Olympics were held in Montreal, and this is the Olympic Stadium right here. Fun fact, the Olympic Stadium, there's an inclined tower, which we're going to see in uh, just a second here. It's... Um, one of the tallest inclined uh, towers in the world. This is actually pretty, pretty high up. It's probably equivalent to like maybe like a 50-story building, approximately. I don't know the exact uh, height, but it's it's very, uh, very tall. 
this is where the Montreal Expos used to play our uh, Major League Baseball team they moved to Washington DC in 2004 and this is where the Montreal Impact play our soccer slash football team this is where they play I believe the capacity is approximately 20,000 at Saputo Stadium and maybe around 50 or 60,000 at the Olympic Stadium but yeah this is the east uh, end of Montreal and let's head back towards the airport we're gonna land at um, Trudeau Airport named after the father of our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau so fun fact um, his father actually used to be the Prime Minister of Canada as well I do think this game looks more realistic after the update after the North America update There's once again Parc La Fontaine. Oh yeah, maybe I could tell you guys about the uh, uh, demographics of Montreal. So uh, Montreal is probably about about 60% uh, French speaking, 20% English speaking, and 20% speak other languages as a as a native language. So a very multicultural city. That's one of my favorite things about the city. Montreal is extremely well known for its restaurants and nightlife. Along with New York City and San Francisco, we are one of the best uh, cities for food in North America. So we actually see the airport in the distance. We're gonna head closer get this bird on the ground let's align ourselves with the runway apply flaps and land this plane this is amazing because this is the land I always fly into this airport whenever I go on vacation so <laughs> I'm used to seeing this landing IRL all the time I could tell you guys it looks pretty realistic okay let's apply some flaps we're pretty well aligned here Our speed is probably a little slow, but I think we're going to get this landing uh, properly over here. I think we're going to successfully land this plane, chat. 500 feet. We're at idle throttle right now. Here we are over runway 24L. Perfectly aligned. And we are on the ground. Smooth. That's one of our smoothest landings. Perfect for our first ever YouTube video. So everyone, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see more of these tour videos, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you soon, everybody.